The World Bank and IMF are now advocating for CBDCs and adoption. Ryan is back. So as of now, I'm the full-time host. Last week, we bought six cars. Worrisome trends. We started off green and Bitcoin's decided to dump. What's going on, TJ? What's up? Doing good, man. Just uh, loving, uh, loving life, loving crypto. We got uh, getting ready for the live stream right now. One big story, the World Bank and IMF are now advocating for CBDCs and adoption at the G20 summit. So that, that's a pretty big news story coming out. I mean, we're not surprising. We've been talking about that a lot. We're expecting CBDCs to be pretty universal from across the board. So this is pretty standard, but it's big development. So right. we see that coming. We got Grayscale unlocked this week. So we're expecting some big uh, price action and some volatility. Everything's been just trading sideways forever. Everybody kind of just waiting and waiting and waiting for a big move to happen one direction or another. We got, you know, some people over here saying, oh, it's going to break down real violently. Some people over here saying it's going to go up real violently. So uh, I think either this week or next week will be that tipping point where we see some big action one way or the other. So yeah, it's fun. It makes it fun to watch and keep us always on our toes. We got uh, big stuff going on at the new building now. Bobby was just saying they're heading over there to start doing some building. So we have internet over there we're getting some paint and some carpet starting to actually build some studios and get some workspaces so uh all is good and all is moving forward so that's what we like to see hey how, how you feeling today ben doing pretty good um it's a new week bitcoin should be going up this week or next week uh so pretty excited about that you know there's been a lot of like fud stories saying that like you know, know crypto's about, over, Bitcoin's dead, yeah. blah, blah, environment, blah, 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 blah. But you notice the price hasn't budged on any of those stories, which proves that anytime you got those stories that move the price, in reality, it's just smoke and mirrors. They're putting the stories out afterwards to explain the move so you don't look at who's really pulling the strings. Ryan is back. What's up, Frank? What's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. How would you ride down here? Uh, you know, it was a long drive, but... Hey, it was worth it. Now we're here full time, super stoked. Yesterday for New Money Game, we already sold a table that was at the house and then just sold this little speaker thing Ooh. here that we got at the uh, estate sale. Nice. Um, which we did a couple weeks ago. So just this week, shooting more videos and uh, waiting for J-Change to show up next week. So it'll be fun. Welcome back. What's up, man? What's up, everybody? How we doing? Pretty good. A little tired from the trip, but who's this? So now Eron lives with you. He's back! He's back! Oh, oh, you made it! You're alive! He just went from the uh, jungles of Columbia. Rainforest. He was in the rainforest. Yeah. Look at that five o'clock shadow. They don't have razors in Columbia. They just have machetes. He would literally have to shave himself with a machete. And uh, he was scared. That's what I heard. Look at that shirt. Is that a Tommy shirt? It's not. No, this is what? American Eagle. I don't know if you guys know this, but Justin called the Tommy Hilfiger trend back. I called the bottom. He called the bottom. He called the bottom. He called the bottom on Polo. The, the top on Tommy. The Tommy top, they call it. Welcome to Boy of Bit Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the Squad of Bit, the largest and greatest community in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money in crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. When you really understand what's going on in the world of crypto and how everything is interconnected, it seems to be almost just as sleazy as anything else. But that doesn't mean we can't make money with it, am I right? Am I right? Who likes to make money? You hear a lot of these news, a lot of news coming out about Ukraine using Stellar and China with its digital yuan, the digital shekel. We'll for it to be about five years before this stuff really takes off. So, all right, guys, that's all we got. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a great show today. Be blessed. Good boy out. And, and, and good luck. Good luck, Trey Mancini, tonight. DZ. What is going on, Frank? How are you doing? How was your weekend? Uh, oh, that's right. Was, we hung out. That's right. So it was a good weekend, then. Yeah. It was a good weekend. We <laughs> we watched the Conor McGregor. Uh, you know, he we told him to break a leg out there. We didn't expect all that. Actually, I'm not a fan of him. He's a bad person. He punched an old man for refusing his whiskey. I stand by that statement. Uh, what do you got going on today? We're set, I'm setting up the show right now. We got a, a, a new guest. A big uh, five by five. Let's go in five. So we got Da Vinci J15 on. And uh, we also have Son of Attack and Wendy. Wendy's back, so it'll All be right. a good episode. Cool, and you're uh, hosting too, right? Yeah, so as of now, I'm the full-time host. So uh, 
I am a TV show. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like I said, I'm I'm just a, a small part of a giant team here, and you know, I'm I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Awesome, Bobby. What's up, man? What's going on? How you feeling? I'm all right. Um, so there was a little misunderstanding, probably on my part. Adam, the uh, general contractor for the new building, I could have sworn he said that the new roof is on. It is not on. So I was in the studio doing some work today, and there was a lot of noise. It was like creaking uh, sound in the ceiling. I was like, Adam, is this normal? And he was like, oh, that's the old roof. The new roof is not made of metal. It won't make those sounds. So we're not as far along as I thought. What can you do? The adventure continues. The adventure continues. What's going on, Steven? Oh, Frank, what's up? How's how, it going? How are you? Dude, people are laying in on the on the fist bumps today. On the fist bumps? Yeah, oh. you're not the only one. What do you got going on today? But, um, no, we were just uh, coming up with some ideas for our our uh, merch uh, branding, you know? Okay. Um, we're, we're still coming up with the names there. But yeah, plenty of stuff here to do. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You're doing, thumb, you're doing the thumbnail for around the blockchain? Yeah, I'm working on that right now. I think uh, we got Crypto Wendy O All right. coming in. Da Vinci J and Sun? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think Ben's son is coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. So thumbnails and uh, and merch. And merch stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sounds in the good. works. This is this is what I really like, right? And uh, he thinks that it's gross, but okay. I'll try anything once. We'll start. We'll start um, there. What is this? That's a yogurt soda. All right. So it's like kefir with a mineral water with like sparkling mi mineral uh, water. Do I smell it first or just, no, go, don't for just, it. just go for it? Because it smells like, uh, you know, like sour milk. Alright, here we go. It, it smells like, like sour milk? Oh, I'm just yeah, doing it. Uh. But <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be sweet and it's literally no, like I told salty. You it's a salty drink. Oh my god. I told god. you it's a salty drink. It tastes like sour milk. Like uh, carbonated sour milk. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna recover from that. I need to eat something. <laughs> Alright, Steven, gonna you gotta try it. Camera. <laughs> no, that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, I think I've had enough. Not good. I need a bang. Okay. <laughs> just gonna wash it down with a bang. Wash it down with Cultural differences when you can. <laughs> Mr. Baby Doge himself. Yeah. How are we doing? Good. Just getting ready for the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but just getting ready for the stream. I had to completely rebuild all the Cardano block producer and the relay node so i've been doing all that stuff i my background is not in linux coding so i've gotcha. been playing with that and then gonna get back into my world here i was about to run down the hall and see what dz hasn't done the description oh. the five o'clock show yet oh Should no. go scold him go scold him brian yes Frank. Uh, so i heard that you've been flipping some cars down in florida bro we are we are and if you like numbers and you like making money that's what we do on the new money gang channel so last week we paid two hundred dollars for some signs we bought six cars well eight cars we sold six cars all within the matter of four days we spent twenty five hundred dollars and we sold them all for forty five hundred dollars and we still own two of the cars that were possibly going to fix up and sell for 10x what we paid for them so it was a good week hey ben i have a question what's up um so tj was saying earlier this morning about how like the world banks yeah. are finding interest in CBDCs. Mm. Can you explain quickly what a CBDC is? Yeah, well, marijuana's got a lot of different uses, and there's like, you know, uh, a quote like CBD, and then it, uh, you know, they put it in gummies, and I don't know how the banks are connected to it. They may invest in marijuana, I don't know, but uh, some people take them to sleep at night and stuff like that, so. Thank you. Nick. Oh. Happy Monday, sir. Happy Monday. How are you doing? Pretty great. All right. Pretty great. You know, there's a saying in the financial world. It's called, the market climbs a wall of worry. And that, my friend, is where we're at today. Worrisome trends. We started off green, and Bitcoin's decided to dump. And uh, we don't know why. It's still just kind of 
fighting around. What's going on with you, man? Uh, nothing much. I actually want to ask you. Uh, so TJ mentioned a little earlier today, he was talking about how the world banks are starting to show interest in CBDCs. Mm-hmm. Could you give me a short 30 second explanation of what a CBDC is? Yes. In the Bible, there's a thing called the mark of the beast. No. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So a a CBDC stands for central bank digital currency. And what they want to do is they want to copy a code of some cryptocurrency. Let's just say XRP. I don't know. Um, But centralize it and make it a private ledger and give themselves admin access to change everything around. So it's essentially when people are talking about cashless societies where governments can track literally everything you spend your money on, that's what CBDCs are. It's not good. Yeah, here we are. We're fighting the good battle. We're fighting the good fight. We're here for the people. We're here for the people. We're here for the people, Frank. All right. So I say all that to say good f- We got any sweet graphics? No. Okay. I've been dealing with the pool all day, so. All right. Yeah. Too much hack in the mainframe. I mean, we do have some sweet graphics. Oh, baby dolls, baby. <laughs> Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto community in all of the interwebs. I'm your host, DZ. Welcome to Around the Blockchain. Boy, we had a, sorry for us being late. We kind of had a little bit of last second scrambling behind the scenes, but we're here now. We're good to go. And oh boy, it's going to be a wild one today. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. How do we feel oh, about that, that was DZ? Tough. That was tough. We had two people not show up, and you know, I mean, I, I get, you know, one person is like 1 a.m., the other person's kind of stepping away from YouTube a little bit, but we love having them on, so we had a last second scramble to get some guests. Mac and Cheesy, he stepped it up, and then Justin came through and finished it with the Tommy Talks, and the VP won. Let's go see what he has to say. How's it feel to be a winner, Justin? It feels pretty good to be a tire. Uh, no. Pretty good. Hold on one second. A tied with Ben. He, yeah, he, he didn't actually win. I gave him the dub. <laughs> All right, Ben, close us out. Well, you know what? It's been an interesting day. We had kind of a disaster on uh, around the blockchain uh, where we had two people not show up, both for different reasons. Uh, you know, just kind of fell through the last minute. But we pulled through like a champ. I've been wondering what was going to happen if we had like a, a major, you know, thing where people didn't show up. But... We made it happen. We got some reserve people. We pulled in. This was at five o'clock. We realized we needed more people, and the show goes off at five o'clock. So we got him on. A uh, guy, Mac and Cheesy, this guy Austin, I know from uh, TikTok, uh, brought him on. He did a really phenomenal job. And the important thing is that everybody still got the information that they needed to have. You know, for for some people, they would probably freeze up. For some channels, it freeze up, not know what to do when the people didn't show. But we here, we've got. Uh, people that are high-level thinkers. But the thing is, you just got to remember that things don't always work out the best. You have, you may have something great, something almost perfect, but even Indiana Jones made Indiana Jones 4. Nico, you a fool for this one, bro. You a fool for this one.